Hello students and welcome to Rishi Computer Education. Today what you are going to learn is colors, CSS3 colors and gradients topic. Let's start with colors topic. Colors in CSS are most often specified by a valid color name. I can say red is the color name. Next is an RGB value. RGB value like RGB and 255,0,0. This is our RGB value. Next, you can define it with, it with hex value that is hash ff0000. These are the values. So, first, let's see the color names. Colors set by using color name as we have seen here red. Color names are not case sensitive. Next, we are going to see the CSS legal color values. Colors in CSS can be specified by hexadecimal codes, RGB colors, RGBA colors, HSL colors, HSLA colors and last is color names. So, we will see it uh, one by one. First, we will start with hexadecimal colors. So, hexadecimal color values are supported in all the major browsers. Hexadecimal color is specified with hash rrggbb. Here, rr stands for red, gg stands for green and bb stands for blue. Hexadecimal integers specify the components of the color. All value must be between 00 and ff. For example, if I am taking hash ff and 4 times 0 it is rendered as red color it is rendered as red color because the red component is set to its highest value ff and others are set to 0 so we will see it with code suppose i am taking one paragraph and i'll first write as it is a hexadecimal color. In next paragraph, I am taking hello world and I am giving id as 1. So now what I want, I want to give a background color to this hello world paragraph. So for that, I will use style tag and inside style tag, I will take id, id 1 and now background color so background color i want to give is in the hexadecimal value so for that i am writing hash 00 ff 00 let's see what color it gives it gave green color so this way you can define any color using this hexadecimal color values Next is RGB colors. An RGB color value is specified with RGB. It means red, green and blue. Each parameter red, green and blue defines the intensity of color and can be an integer between 0 and 255 or a percentage value from 0 to 100%. For example, if I am taking RGB as 0, 0, 0,0,255, so this will value will rendered as blue because blue parameter is set to its highest value that is 255. Okay, and others are set to 0. So let's see it with the code. Again, I am defining paragraph paragraph is rgb and next paragraph i am taking hello world give an id to it that is one so now i want to give background color using rgb values so for that i will write hash one and my background color will be in RGB value so define RGB and now I am taking 255 comma 0 comma 0 
so let's see the output it has given red color suppose i take 255 in middle and start it with zero so let's see what color it gives green color so this way you can define the background color or color using rgb values next we will see rgba colors rgba color values are supported in uh, internet explorer firefox chrome safari opera rgba color values are an extension of rgb color values with an alpha channel so only one thing you have to add is alpha here you can add a i have added a to it which specifies the opacity of the object here alpha specifies the opacity of an object and rgba color value is specified with rgba that is i have already written a here it gives the opacity the alpha parameter is a number between 0 that is fully transparent and 1 that is fully opaque let's see it with example you i have changed it to rgba and now i want to give the opacity so opacity i am giving is suppose 0.6 let's save and see the output here you can see the color is been light let's take it 0.21 refresh here you can see the color is been lighted if i write one this will give me the original color this way you can set the color using opacity next we are starting with hsl colors hsl where h stands for hue s stands for saturation and l stands for lightness and it represents a cylindrical coordinate re representation of colors hsl color value is specified with as i said hue saturation and lightness hue is a degree on a color wheel that is uh, h is a degree and its value is between 0 to 360 okay next comes s s is in percentage value and percentage is from 0 to 100 same way Zero to hundred percent. Same way, L L is also in a percentage with zero to hundred percent. Okay, here in hue zero to three sixty degree. Here zero or three sixty is for red, one twenty is for green, and two forty is for blue. also in saturation if you define a zero it means a shade of gray and if you define 100% it is full color lightness in lightness also if you define a zero it is for black and if you define 100% it is for white so let's see it in the code one paragraph which gives hsl colors next paragraph i am taking hello world giving id now for id i am giving background color using hsl so for that define hsl now i have already told you that h is u is in degree so i am taking uh 120 and saturation saturation should be in percentage so i am taking 45% and next 
lightness lightness i'm taking is 80% let's see what color it gives here you can see greenish type color has been given so this way you can define hsl colors also as we have seen in rgba a is for alpha here also in hsl also you can take a so i will be defining a a i told you is for opacity so same as rgba i am defining 0.3 let's give 0.3 and see the output here you can see the color is been lighten more lighten so this is hsl a next we are starting with gradients gradients let you display a smooth transition between two or more specified colors okay there are two types of gradients first is linear and next is radial linear goes up down left right and diagonally and radial is defined by their centers so first we will start with linear gradient let's see the basic syntax for the linear gradient so here i have already defined the div so now in style tag i am writing i am giving a gradient to my div so grad 1 now we have to define the linear gradient so for that you will have to write background suppose uh if the linear gradient is not supported for my browser so i want a simple one color should be displayed i will also have to give height to my gradient sorry to my div so and i have given height next if it's for safari browser so for that i will define background webkit linear gradient and my two colors so i'm taking red and yellow same if it is for opera i will write o instead of webkit if it is for firefox i will just write mouse okay and our standard syntax is background linear gradient and our red and yellow color our standard syntax must be placed at last let's see the output here you can see the gradient is been displayed now if i want my gradient should be from left to right so for that i will have to give the direction to it so how to give direction now i am for now i am removing this other browser supports and we will work on standard syntax only so suppose i want to give direction so i want to left i'll just mention the direction let's save and open in browser here you can see it's from left to right now i instead of left i am writing right let's refresh it has turned to next direction next if i want to display my gradient in uh, gradient diagonally so for that i will have to write i will have to give the direction here i have given left top so i will give direction to left top let's see the output here you can see it has been placed diagonally now if i change it to bottom right here you can see it has been changed to bottom right and if you want more control over the direction of gradient you can define an angle instead of predefined direction that is to bottom to left to right anything so for that you will have to give angle now how to give angle 
so angle your i am giving is 90 degree suppose i am giving 90 degree so you just need to write 90 and deg that is degree let's see the output let's change it to 180 now let's here you can see it has changed i have given minus 90 degree i change it to 120 so this way you can also work with angles and suppose now you want to add a multiple colors now you want to add multiple colors so for that just write suppose i want it from left so to left red yellow green i can add blue purple okay save it and let's see yeah you can see multiple color has been added to the gradient if you want to add a transparency to your gradient you have to uh, use the rgb colors we have already seen so to add a transparency we use rgba functions to define the color stops so last parameter in rgba function can be a value from 0 to 1 so let's see your i'm changing it from rgba so color i'm giving is 255 0, 0 and my opacity should be 0.4 next color i'm giving is rgba 0, comma, uh, 200 i'm taking 200 and 0 and opacity should be 0.6 so let's see the output here you can see the transparency of colors if i give a or one it will give the original color so you can see so this way you can define the transparency next we are starting with radial gradients a radial gradient is defined by its center to create a radial gradient you must also define at least two color stops so first we will see the uh, syntax syntax for it so same as linear we have to define background then it will come led, led radial gradient first you have to give the shape size at position so i am giving i am giving shape as circle next color i am giving is red and yellow let's see yeah you can see it is in the circle position by default it is in ellipse shape its size is farthest corner and its position is center next is use of different size keywords the size parameter defines the size of gradient it takes four values that is closest side farthest side closest corner and farthest corner so first we will see for the closest side so i want to define the closest side i am taking closest side and at the position of 60% and 55% so let's save and see the output here you can see the position is being changed now i am changing it to the farthest side let's save here you can see the change next we will take it as closest corner closest corner at the position of 60 and 55% so let's see we have seen the change next we will take the farthest corner here 
you can see the change so this way you can use the size keywords for radial gradient next is if you want that your uh, color should be repeated so for that we will be using repeating radial gradient so repeating radial gradient now i am changing the colors first i will give red then i am giving blue blue should stop at 10% next i am giving green green should stop at 15% let's see the output here you can see the color has been repeating so this way you can define the repeating radial gradient so based on today's session you have one assignment that is you have to create a call to action section with a gradient background here you can see the example i have already created this way you need to create so with this we end up the session thank you